in this video i'm going to show how to make the perfect fried rice using fresh pineapple flavor so come along with me this is boulder stick kitchen and my name is sharon thank you for joining us today now for the ingredients the most important one is the pineapple because this is what is going to give it that pineapple flavor so i'm going to wash it i have this sponge i use for washing fruits and vegetables so because of the we are carving the pineapple and we are using the flavor it's very important to wash every part of the pineapple from the leaves to the body to the skin wash very well under running water even if you can add salt wash it with salt so that every dirt or anything any dust on it will come off and then scrub very well so that it's you, you know you are eating clean so after that we are going to cut it and slice it and cover the whole pineapple flesh because we will be serving the rice in pineapple so after washing i put it on a tray and i'm going to cut it into two equal parts so that it can enable me to extract the whole pineapple flesh from it and use it for the cooking so this is me sharing it cutting it into two after cutting it i'm going to carve out the pineapple from it and serve the rice in the pineapple bowl you're just going to see how amazing it is oh my goodness this pineapple looks so yummy and juicy i'm super optimistic that the pineapple rice is going to come out very very nice this thing looks so easy but not actually easy you need a sharp knife for this thing having the pineapple is not actually an easy task So I'm almost done with the carving now. After this, we're going to set it aside and continue with the entire cooking process. We're going to use this pineapple juice to cook the rice, to season the meat, everything. So this is me now trying to season the shrimp and prepare it to marinate. So I just add seasoning that consists of pepper, chicken seasoning cubes and salt with some of the pineapple juice after that i'm going to mix everything together and leave it for like one hour and allow it allow the whole flavor to soak in that's what we're looking for once i'm done mixing i'm just going to set it aside and go on to cut the chicken breast into smaller pieces like this so that it can enable me to stir fry it and it will get cooked on time so this is me cutting it the chicken breast into smaller pieces and you can also use beef for this but it's totally optional and if you want to skip this part it's also okay but i just like that taste of you know the fried chicken in the rice so after cutting we're going to wash it and we're going to season it very well just like the same way with the shrimp so that's onion onion powder in and garlic powder with the other seasoning of course pepper and others so after adding it i'm also going to add two spoon of the pineapple juice and mix everything together guys it's already getting interesting now i'm going to season the turkey with some ginger garlic powder salt and mangy cubes 
you can call it seasoning cube and this blend of curry basil savory rosemary and of course some grounded pepper and the pineapple juice after that we're going to cover it and put it on the stove let it cook for some minutes so while it's cooking we're going to go ahead and wash the vegetables you can see me scraping off the carrots because that's how i bought it in the market i have to scrape off the dirt from it and give it a very 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 clean wash after that we're going to go ahead and slice the onions carrots and the other of the vegetables You want to go ahead and cut the carrot into tiny dices, little little cubes, and then make sure that it's not too big and it's not too tiny, just moderate size. After the carrot, I move on to the green peppers. Just me, as you can see, I'm removing the seed, and then I'm going to also cut it into smaller pieces, just like I did with the carrots. After the carrots and green peppers, next is the spring onions. I'm also going to cut it into smaller pieces as you can see in the video. Now let's go ahead to check the turkey. It's already fully, fully cooked. See those oil? Oh my god. So the juice or rather the stock from the turkey, I'm going to use it to cook the rice. So we're going to set it aside and go ahead and set fry the shrimps. Once the shrimp is done, I'm taking it out and I'm going to use the same pan to stir fry the chicken breast that has been marinated already. You want to stir very well and allow one side to fry and the other side to fry. Once it's done, you see that it starts to go kind of whitish and begin to separate you know it's ready and it's soft you can also taste it to be sure so to fry the turkey i'm going to add a generous amount of oil to the pan and then i added the onion for flavor and then just gently add in the turkey and fry until both sides is golden brown like this as you can see it's already ready to take out if you leave it a little longer than this, it may end up getting burnt. So just take it out gently, shaking off the oil, and then set aside. Then we go on to cook the rice. So remember the turkey stock? I just went on to add coconut milk seasoning, a little salt, and then the pineapple juice. Yes, so this is pineapple rice. So you must use pineapple juice to cook it. That's what will give it that yummy pineapple flavor. So I'm just going to cover it and once it begins to boil, I'm going to add washed rice. This is parboiled rice, so it's already washed. I don't have to parboil it again. Then after that, we're going to cook it until it's soft. 
so while it's cooking we're going to go ahead and stir fry the veggies so that we can just go ahead and add the rice when the rice is ready so in a pot i added just a little amount of coconut oil and then i added onions and saute then go in with the carrots just fry for just one minute and then go in with the green beans after that i'm also going to go ahead and add the spring onions after the spring onions meanwhile i season a little bit with some seasoning powder before adding the seasoning the spring onions then the stir fried chicken and shrimps and then some diced pineapple so guys it's almost ready after now i'm just going to go ahead and add the pre-cooked rice so this is the rice that has been cooked in coconut milk and pineapple juice so just fry just a fry for just one minute and it's ready to eat it's ready to serve you guys i would like to know your review about this pineapple rice have you tried it before do you like it please if you end up trying this recipe i'll appreciate if you send me pictures or just tag buddhist kitchen to your post and then i will repost thank you so so much for watching the recipe is amazing please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this is Buddha Stikishin as I've been saying and I share amazing recipes African food Nigerian food healthy drinks to detox your system for weight loss street food reviews this channel is very interesting don't forget to subscribe like I said and kindly leave a comment like and share bye see you on my next one